Shepherd of us all, Savior of us all, Lover of us all. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We are overcome. So thank you for the privilege given us, O oh God, to gather before you. We thank you for the mercy you showed to us, O oh God. Amen. Thank you for many of our age mates have long ago gone. Remember those days in school when most six of our classmates just died in accident. But here we are to today. Lord, you have invested so much in us today that today we will be very holy and pure for you, God. Lord, our power belongs to you. We have come again to eat and drink, to hear from you. Lord, speak to us, O oh God. And today, let your body and your blood do what only you can do. Make us perfect. Make us to become what you want us to be. Henceforth, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, behold the word for us, O oh God. Who can interpret your word? Nobody. I said the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I yield myself to you. Show me my empty me of myself and feel me. Speak to me, speak to me to the end. We all shall be blessed. In of this, I arrest every spirit of distraction. Man, Holy Spirit, cast you out my face now. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, I have prayed with us given. Amen. 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 We have a brief word of exhortation. With us this hour, as we know, except you are just coming here today, there's nothing new on this mountain. All we do, we exhort ourselves why that great And uh, that is exactly what the Lord uh, sent me to do. We will wait for Him in holiness and righteousness, knowing that we have a back up always there for us can we all meet our mic because I can see okay I know that it's uh, pastor yes now we have a message for the throne of God titled knowing the efficacious power in the body and the blood of Jesus Christ knowing all terrain miracle power power who never fail. Do you know it? Do I know it? If you and I know it, are we engaged in it? The reason why the world is in confusion today is because they don't know the power in the body of Christ. They don't know what the body and the blood of Christ can do. If you and I know it, we fear nothing. And knowing it, it does not end there. You engage yourself in it. Are we engaged in the power of the body and the blood of Christ? If we are, fear nothing. Let nothing move me and you. But if you are not, this is the hour now for you to be engaged in the efficacious power in the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Brethren, Everything you and I ever needed to survive in this wicked world is wrapped up in the body and the blood of Christ. 
uh, this body and blood was freely given to me and you to use whenever, wherever, however, so that you and I will be what we are meant to be. Healing is there. The peace we ever needed is there, as it's written in Isaiah 53, verse 5, for he was wounded for our transgression. If you need your sin to be forgiven, engage him. No man can do it, engage the power in the blood of Christ. He was bruised for our iniquity. Whatever sin that the enemy is still saying, this one is written against you. Engage his blood, and that sin will be washed away. According to Colossians chapter number 2, verse 14, 13 and 14. It says, the chastisement of our peace, that you and I my happiness was upon him. And uh, with his stripe, we are healed. The peace we needed is wrapped up in his blood. The healing the world needs today, the world is sick. The government are sick. The church is sick. And the only healing, the only power that can heal you and I is in the blood of Christ. And the only way it can work for me and you is engage him, knowing what the blood can do. If is the only, if this is the only verse I read today, I tell you it's enough for me and you to live a vitreous life as children of God. The Bible told me and you in First Peter chapter number two, verse twenty-four, who his own who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead. To sing, to live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye we are healed. The power to righteously enter God's kingdom is wrapped up in His blood. He carried our sin upon Himself, that you and I may not carry it. Anyone that carries sin to God is doomed. Anyone that stain is in His body is doomed. So therefore. The Lord took it from us. And the sickness that uh, sin brought, sickness that emanated from disobedience, he said, we were healed from them. The problem the world has today is because the world has turned its back against God. The same plague that was in Egypt, what is happening today is even more. And it takes the blood of Christ for the world to be healed. And the provision for that healing has been given to human humanity. But we have rejected it. Why? Because we don't know it. That's why the Bible says, because of lack of knowledge, my people are destroyed. The knowledge in the body and the blood of Christ is hidden from man. But thank God, it is exposed to me and you. But are we using it? Are we engaged in it? Do we have faith in it? If we do, I tell you something, some things we are going through, we wouldn't go through them. Brethren, there's power in the body and the blood of Christ. Brethren, for you and I to be sanctified, to become like God, uh, the Bible told me, are you in uh, Matthew 5, verse 48, that we must be uh, perfect. The power to perfect me and you, is not in a man, is in the blood of Christ Jesus. That's why he told us in Hebrews chapter 10, from verse 4 to 12. Therefore, it is not possible that the blood of bull and of goat should take away sin. No, 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 no. No amount of sacrifice a man will do that would save him from eternal destruction. That's why sometimes. I look at the Muslim, I say, Father, show them mercy. I look at some churches who are engaged in sacrifice. I say, God, please open their eyes before it is too everlasting too late. Blood of animals, good and all, cannot do it. Verse 5, therefore, when he cometh into the world, 
He said, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body, which body, the body of Christ, the holy, pure, stainless body. How that prepared me a sacrificial body, a body that is able to take away sin, is able to bear this of the world. How that prepared me, the Lord Jesus Christ is talking about the Father. Though the Son came out of the Father, they are the same. That says, in both offering and sacrifice for sin, thou hast no pleasure. And this is what many churches are still engaged today. Oh, man of God, I'm passing through. Okay, you know what? Breathe, son, breathe this, breathe that. In the night we pray together. What is that? That is nonsense. And many churches are still doing it today. Burn candle, uh, bring this. It's no more invoke. The blood of Christ, the name of Christ is what you and I need for our today's redemption and eternal redemption. Verse 7. Then said I, Lord, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me because all those things could not do it. Then he said, Lord, I come. As it is written concerning me, you and I know what the Bible says in the book of Matthew 26, verse 24. For the Son of Man goeth as it is written concerning him. The book of redemption was written concerning him. And he did it. He redeemed me and you to do thy will, O God. What is thy will? That Apostle Emmanuel of Cesare might be redeemed. That Apostle Emmanuel might live a joyful Christian life on earth. That I will not be a recessive but a dominant. In my time, just as Apostle Paul and the rest of Apostle were in their own time, not to be living in fear because nothing is able to overcome the blood of Christ, as we all know in that um, Revelation 12 11, brethren, verse 8 of Hebrews 10. The above, where he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offering and offering for sin, thou wouldest not, neither hast pleasure therein, which are offered by the Lord. Nine, then said I, then said he, lo, I come to do thy will. O God, he taketh away the first that he might establish the second. That's why we, we are told in that Matthew 26, from verse 26 to 29, where he told me and you that drink the blood of the Lord. He said, this is a blood of the New Testament. The Old Testament was temporary uh, freedom. But it came to give us eternal freedom. He took away the old. The old that cannot do anything to establish the new. In this new one, there's eternal and redemption. There's healing in this. Deliverance is this. Everything you and I ever need to live well. Joyfully is wrapped up in this New Testament blood of redemption. Verse 10. By the which, by, by the which we, we are sanctified, sanctified through the offering of the body of Christ Jesus, of Jesus Christ. One for all. He did it one, and that is the end of eternal condemnation. But why? Are people still going to hell? Why are Christians still falling into hell? Because they have not engaged him. Because they don't know him. They don't know the power, the efficacy in what the Lord has done. That's why Christians will still suffer on earth here and still go to hell. Because what is wrapped up in the blood was hidden from death. But thank God for Christ Jesus that is revealed to me and you. Once and for all. He did one and for everyone. And everyone that engaged in it, be you a Muslim, a Hindu, a Christian, go! Uh, you shall be delivered. But what about you that is already there? It means, by now, our eternal redemption should have be sure. If actually we know what we are doing in this mountain, in this ministry. Of us, if we want to calculate the body and the blood we have eaten and drunk, some of us that maybe by now, a drunk. By now, maybe some of you, uh, 50 liters. Some of us, maybe 10 loaves of bread. 
But what have you done with them? Till now, you are not so sure that all those you have eaten is enough to, to heal you. So, uh, you and I will just take only one tablet of medicine. We have the faith that this tablet will heal us. The doctor will tell you in the morning, take this pastor to the queen and just take it. You have, ah, yes, you are here. I will surprise you. But this is the body and the blood of Christ. Yes, we are not healed by it. Why? Because we are having faith in what man did. And what Christ said did, we are not having faith in it. That's why we are still sometimes we fall, rise, fall, and rise. But today, falling and rising is dead. We will, we will rise now, never to fall again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hmm. 11 of that same Hebrews 10. And every priest started daily ministering and offering up to time. The same sacrifice, the same sacrifices, which can never take away sin. I wonder when, what was happening that time, as one of the man will say here. If it was that time, by, maybe by now, I would have long ago died. How would I be sacrificing every day? So come, I fornicate, I will slaughter animal. But how would I have been able to do this? And yet, he never took away anything according to the word of God. But this one, this New Testament sacrifice that the Lord has sacrificed is able to take away every written ordinances that was against me and you. But the problem is this. Do we have faith in it? Do you know the efficacious power in what we are taking every day? The only eternal redemptive power, the, the only eternal solution to every problem of human being is wrapped up in the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Verse 12. But this man, the man named Jesus Christ, but this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sin forever, sat down on the right hand of God, watching if we are doing what he asked us to be doing. And if we are doing it in what kind of mind, what nature are we doing it with? What runs in our hearts whenever we are doing it? It's watching us sitting down, observing to know if we are actually engaged in it or just there doing formality. Brethren, the power to pull one out of bondage bondage of any, all kinds and engraft that person, connect that person to God Almighty is wrapped up in the body and the blood of Christ. He will disengage you from every satanic engagement, from every simple engagement and re-engage you to yourself. That can only be done through the power of the body and the blood of Christ. By now, most of us here we are not supposed to be praying. Ah, every house so we can. They are not supposed to be there anymore. Sometimes the Bible is complete. I have never seen where Apostle Paul and the rest were praying such prayers. But because of our faithlessness, because we are still carrying the, the, the Adamic nature, that's why we still pray some prayers. We are not supposed to. By now, we have, we would have been more than all those things. But let's keep it up. So long we have decided not to know what the body and the blood of Christ is. But I pray that after today's own, we will know and forget all those beggarly elements, all those and my father's house, my mother's house. Their father's house and mother's they were they not there when Apostle Paul were there. Were they not there during Peter and all? The Bible says in Luke 10 19, you have given you power to tread upon snakes and scorpions. And over all the power of darkness, and nothing, nothing shall by enemies hurt you. But why are we still living as if we are under the, the tutelage or under the power of all those power that are nothing? Why? Because the knowledge that is in the body and the blood of Christ, we don't know it yet. 
the efficacy in it. We are not engaged in it. The blood that could pull down Satan and drop him in hell, we are not able to use to remove just common, common, common things. It's so painful. I wonder how the Lord will be looking at us. What kind of children are these? These children, are they also like the children I left behind? That's why the Bible says the, the first churches, they were always engaged in the way because they know the power in it. They continuous in the apostle doctrine, breaking bread and doing all this. Every, they engage in it. And today, what we are engaged in, every power fighting me, power in my father. Please don't have time for that one. That yesterday, one of our sisters asked a question. He said, Why is it that <laughs> you come from a church to be tired? Why would you be tired? Why is my phone calling us? Cut him, cut him, cut him, cut him. Why would you be tired? Eh? They say, eh, Everybody run out, go and carry cane, flop, flop, flop. Why would you not be tired? You'll be tired. You use all maybe one hour, shake your head. Eh, 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 eh. You come out, you'll be tired. But those people, those they, they know what hey, the blood of Christ cover me. Finish. Finish. Please let us have faith in the finishing work of the Lord. Satan has no power over anyone that know what the body and the blood of Christ is. Romans 7, 2 through 6. For the woman which had an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. Three, so then if when her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is not a, she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Wherefore, verse 4, wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the Lord by the body of Christ, that ye should be married to another, hmm. even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. Hmm. Why are we see Galivati going up and down? See fornicating up and down? See committing adultery whenever we say that is an adulterous act. But the Bible told me you a woman that is married to a man have no authority to sleep with somebody else. If you do, you are an adulteress. So, when, as we are not bound to God Almighty through the death of Christ, we are not supposed to look at another man again. Anytime we say we are looking at another man, but remember, you might say, but I don't commit them. In the early days, the Bible says, if you commit them, you have sin. But today, if you look at it, you have sin. If you have pleasure in them that are sinning, you have sin also. As we see in Romans chapter 1, the verse 32, the last uh, verse of Romans chapter 1. Not only they that do the same, but they that have pleasure in them that does it. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 5 of Romans 7. For when we were in the flesh, the motion of sins, which were by the Lord, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. But now, I love this. Not yesterday, but now we are delivered from the law that be dead, where we were he heard that we should save, save in newness of spirit and not in the old, oldness of the letter. That's why when that sister other questions, this is Jessica. We don't go for the letter, we go for the spirit, the letter kill it. What is behind this act? What is in the mind of the Lord? What was God saying here? That is what we have to know. He says, to serve in the newness of the spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. 
How can this be possible? By engaging in him that has the power of all things. What is that? The body and the blood of Christ. Whoever that is in connection with his blood is connected with the full nature of God. The full nature of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Brethren, in time, for you and I to be covenanted with the Lord God Almighty, we need the blood of Christ Jesus. Hebrews 13, verse 20 to 21. I will stop there and a lot of things to say. Now, the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. 21. Make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which, that which is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. As I said before, for you to have confidence with God, you must be covenanted with his blood. For you to be perfect, the blood of Christ, the perfect blood of Christ must flow in your veins. That he will be not walking through you. You don't do things on your own again. It will, it, it will take preeminence over you. It will take dominion over you. You speak for him. You will live for him. You act for him. Why? Because the blood of him is in you. The blood is the power of man. Drink out the blood, you are gone. To have you know the blood of you, you are a dead man, you are a dead woman. If you like be so fresh, you are freshly doomed. But even though you are a thing like me, and the blood is in you, I tell you the truth, you are more than conqueror. Brother, sister, what do you want? What do you need? It's wrapped up in the blood of Christ. Is it healing? Physical healing? It's there. Everlasting redemption is there. The peace that have been that have been missing the world is there. Joy in the family is there. The power to resist temptation is there. The power to overlook things is there. Everything you ever needed to live a joyful and dominating Christian life is wrapped up in the blood. All we need to do now is to engage in. Disengage yourself from every satanic engagement. I say, Father, today. I engage with you. I disengage myself from wherever I be engaging, making me not to know the efficacy in your blood. Today, I engage in you now. Hope you want to pray if you understand what the Spirit of God has just told me are you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, King of glory, please in your mercy, O Lord, disengage me, O Lord, from these things, O Lord, that is destroying my soul, and engage me, O Lord, in you, O Lord Jesus, engage me, O Lord, in your spirit, in your blood, O Lord, Father, King of glory, disengage me from the things of this world, disengage me, O Lord, from evil speaking, disengage Engage me, O Lord, from evil heart. Disengage me, O Lord, from the things of this world. Disengage me, O Lord, from wickedness. Disengage me, O Lord. Engage me in you, O Lord, permanently. I cannot see the power to be holy and be perfect. It's not in you. It's in him that has the power. And that power is wrapped up in his blood. I want to pray, Father, as I eat you and drink you today, the grace to be holy. Not just holy, perfectly holy, be released upon me, upon my family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, my God and my Savior, please you, Lord. As I eat and drink, you, Lord, please give me the grace of God to be good and be good, O Lord. Father, O Lord, let your blood, O Lord, change me completely, O Lord. The words of my mouth, the meditation of my hand, the way I act, everything, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Holiness, O Lord. I pray that every covenant that I have entered into with men, with women, with powers of darkness today, 
Those covenants are hereby broken, and today we are entering into a brand new covenant that can mm-hmm. the blood of Christ in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Are you out there? You are not born again. You have heard it. Everything you need to live well is not that money you are pursuing. It's in what you just heard now. The door, has, the door is still open. It's not your lot. Say, come unto me, or you are labor. You are labor, you are sweating. Come now and have rest. Confess the Lord Jesus Christ who owes the body and the blood as your Lord and personal Savior. Let him become the shepherd and the bishop of your soul. Let your sins be washed away. And heaven is sent to heaven. And the angels are rejoicing over the decision we are made today. And I know by the grace and mercy of God, it will never turn to sorrow again in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. So please, I want you to move a step further to do what the Lord himself asked us to be doing in uh, Colossians chapter 2, verse uh, 12, to be buried and rise with him, baptism by immersion, call on any of the men of God to, to help you, not believe them, cancel you, pray with you, and baptize you. And if there's any other thing they will have to do with you for the assurance of your salvation, the Lord will do it to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. Father, we thank you because you are going to step up our faith in you. Thank you because, oh God, you have come, oh God, the little children of yours, oh God, to make us understand the reason why the world is going through what they are going through, the reason why some of us we are going through what we are going through. But today, we have been redeemed, and you have engaged us to what is available, your body and blood, for our eternal redemption. Lord, I ask, oh God, I shall end, open our eyes on this mountain, and the eyes of all your children all over the world, the churches are there, seeking solution where there's no solution. Run to you and engage in what you have engaged us of in this ministry, your body and your blood. Father, I ask, O oh God, the grace, O oh God, to remain in you. Give to every one of us here anything that make us to start running heter skater. When you are set to us by, set to us by yourself, let that spirit be cast out of us from, for, from every source on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Those who don't go born again, Father, help them to remain born again. And those who are getting fed up, now your word has brought them back to you. Help them to remain in you. Let every one of us, oh God, to remain in you to the end of the last day. We always see your smile. And mm-hmm. you forever in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 And the word of God, please let's sit at the table now. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption, prayer ministry worldwide aka the shepherd and the bishop of our souls ministry worldwide